Hey guys, I have a nostalgic video for you guys today, and I'm so fucking excited. So this year, the early 2000s has undoubtedly had a huge comeback. However, these people that are wearing the Y2K trends currently were born when these trends were popular, and they're nailing it with their first try. I was an awkward preteen who couldn't pull off the trends the way I picture pulling them off. I used to attempt the Miley Cyrus hair and not realize that her entire head was made up of extensions and wonder why my hair never looked the same way. I used to be obsessed with all the fashion and wish I had the boobs to complete each look. So here's what I did for today's video. I always had this idea of shopping my younger self's dream wardrobe. The wardrobe my mom never let me buy, the outfits I wasn't allowed to wear out of the house. So that's what I did today. <laughs> you guys, the pieces and brands I found are so spot on to that Disney Channel star aesthetic. Like I literally could see Vanessa Hudgens, Miley Cyrus, Ashley Tisdale, Hilary Duff, I could see all these Disney girls wearing these outfits I bought. So the site I purchased all these outfits from is ThreadUp and it's basically an online consignment store that sells women's and kids clothing. They have over 40K brands with new arrivals daily and you can buy high quality accessories, shoes, handbags, all up to 90% off the estimated retail price. ThreadUp is also sponsoring this video so stay tuned throughout the haul because there is a special promo code just for you guys. And yeah, let's, let's get into this. This is literally adult dress up. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, what's gonna make this haul even better is my friend slash assistant, who's like a Gen Z millennial cusp baby, is gonna react. I'm gonna do like a little fashion show. This one isn't the most like Paris Hilton era. This is very Hannah Montana, like Miley Stewart, red carpet. Cue the Hannah Montana music. Yeah. <laughs> I actually feel like I'm 100% going to wear this out. I'm kind of scared. It's like looking in like a J14 magazine. So this top is Express. So the estimated retail price of this top was $30 and I got it for $6.99. We got guest jeans. They originally sold for $98 and I got them for $30.99. You get the limo right front. Ooh, oh, ooh. oh no, this is like my prop. All right, next outfit. <laughs> Haley's head is turned, hold on. We are building the outfit. I saw this chain in my closet. This is gonna make it. Do, 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 do. Oh Everybody. my God. Everybody makes mistakes. Ooh, the top. <laughs> Everybody has those days. A one, two. <laughs> this is yet again, another Express top. Express was popping, it seems. The estimated retail price for this top was $25 and I got it for $9.99. The sequins are just statement. Use my code Nikki for an extra 30% off your first thread up order. Welcome to the stage, everybody. Demi Lovato. Oh my god. That's how you know. <laughs> this is actually not the current trend, especially these pants. Skinny jeans are very 2007. I don't think we're there yet. This little vest situation was like 2007, like prime. I also paired this look with these little white vans, just like Joe Jonas would. We got these this belt that actually everybody had in 2007 if you had to go to a school dance. Okay guys, the skinny jeans were a steal. This is the brand True Religion, which was very popular in the early 2000s. The estimated retail price of these jeans were $198, and I got them for $38.99. Younger me would have never been allowed to buy these. My mom would have saw the price and said, hell no even current nikki would have said hell no so the brand of this vest is forever 21 the estimated retail price was 13 dollars. i got it for 11.99 i feel like this is how i wanted to dress 100 percent in like 2008. hey guys editing nikki here i just want to pause the video for a second to tell you guys something crazy so i have a childhood friend that I recently reconnected with who owns a thrift store in Soho in New York City. And she's opening up her thrift store for me to sell my clothes at her store this weekend. It's happening. All the information will be linked down below in the description box. If you guys wanna hang out and shop my closet in person, I am having a closet sale at her thrift store called Funny Pretty Nice this weekend, Saturday the 31st. It's from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. I wanted to put this here in the video just in case you guys don't follow me on social media and you haven't heard about it yet. I do want the opportunity to be there for you guys here on YouTube as well. So yeah, if I'm going to see you guys this weekend, that's going to be so cool. Now, back to the video. I love this. 
just bring back the bump, honestly. Bring it back. The bump. <laughs> my hair, fun fact, when I was in seventh grade, all my friends were like, we need a bump tutorial. How do you do a bump? And I'm like, uh, my hair just has volume. Okay, honestly, this is giving me Hilary Duff when she had her brunette hair era. Wake up, wake up on a Saturday night. All right, Nikki, calm down. This top is Express, and the estimated retail price is $20, and I bought it for $8.99. All right, guys, now these jeans are such a good find. Like, they're the perfect low-rise pants. I don't have any in this wash. The brand is Seven for All Mankind, which was a very popular brand back in the early 2000s. The estimated retail price was $189, and I bought them for $45.99. Sharpay, I've been doing the house. Oh my god. She literally just walked out fabulous. All right, we're gonna have a little chit chat though. This brand is vintage Victoria's Secret. Everything was very like label washed back in the day. Like if you didn't have an Abercrombie Moose, if you didn't have a Hollister Bird, if you didn't have a Victoria's Secret logo, pink logo, who were you? And that's the shittiest part about like that time period. If I like, you know, we're romanticizing it right now, but back in the day, like, I my mom like wanted to just shop for me at Old Navy and I was like, no, I need a logo. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like that girl in this bikini, main mean girl, main character. So the brand is obviously Victoria's Secret and the estimated retail price for both the top and the bottoms individually were both $30. And I got them both individually for $12.99, so that's great. I'm getting Hilary Duff from her brunette clubbing era, Miley Cyrus can't be tamed era, and Audrina from the hills. I am the most excited about this outfit because actually the entire outfit is BB. That was like the overpriced womanly store that a lot of the upperclassmen would shop at when I was in high school. Now when I was younger, I really wanted to have a BB corset moment, but my mom obviously didn't let me buy it. It was provocative and also slightly overpriced. But now I own a BB corset. The estimated retail price of this top was $49 and I bought it for $32.99. And the pants were expensive. The estimated retail price was $119. You heard me, wonder why I wasn't allowed to shop there when I was younger. And I got them for $37.99 on ThreadUp. So this was a steal considering how expensive these were. And I'm pairing this outfit with obviously a little juicy couture like elbow bag. And I have these little lime green flip flop heels because I feel like if they wore this on a red carpet back then would have broken this black up with a little fun in the heels. I'm loving this one the most I think. I feel like this is the most current me and younger me put into one. Are we gonna make the train wreck look for the finale? I don't even know what the, where this top is from but we're gonna. I am making a train rack outfit. Oh my god, we're building it. We're building that outfit. Wow. Oh, this one's so nice. That looks really nice. This is literally early 2000s disaster red carpet look that would have been in every magazine. I'm sorry, Ashley Tisdale. I'm so sorry. You know exactly what I'm thinking. I'll put it right here. <gasps> Thank you for adding to this. I don't even think, I think this might be too much. No, this is just, no. All right, we're gonna bring this outfit down back to what it was, what I would wear. So the estimated retail price of this guest tee was $36 and I got it for $12.99. The skirt is also one of my favorite brands, a Harley Davidson. It originally sold for $107 and I got it on Thread Up for $30.99. So I paired off this outfit with little white cowgirl boots. I feel like I would see this actually on Pinterest today. All right, guys, we literally played dress up together. I literally dreamed so much when I was little. I always wanted to have a Hannah Montana closet and honestly have the career I have right now, which is really crazy. I knew I wanted like a normal life, but I also wanted to have like an influence and find my people and do music. It's really interesting because when you meet me in real life, I literally say like, I feel like Hannah Montana. I feel like I have this one part of my life that's really unrelatable. And then I have this other part of my life that is so normal. I honestly am appreciative of everything I have. And yeah, I just wanted to get all deep because it's a Nikki video, you know how I be. I reflect on this actually a lot. And the reason why I feel like I love playing dress up from this time period is because I wouldn't be where I am today without this time period. It's half the reason I'm so obsessed with the Y2K, with the nostalgia, tapping into that with my style lately. It's really hot in here and uh, 
I want to take these clothes off. My feet are like sweating in these shoes. Thank you Thread Up for sponsoring this video. You made this video come true. I've been wanting to film this video for a while now and they really supplied like everything I wore is just walking out of a J14 magazine. Be sure to subscribe guys. There is so much coming. I don't want to give anything away, but trust me when I say this, like subscribe so you're the first people notified. Also be sure to press the bells and follow me on Spotify. We'll have my Spotify pop up right here. This is the last call for joining the 25 Zoom. If you aren't aware, I'm hosting a Zoom with 25 of you guys in celebration of my single 25. And I'm choosing you guys from my Spotify monthly listeners and followers. So be sure to head over to my Spotify and follow me if you want to meet me virtually. And yeah, there's a lot coming up. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and comment down below what you want to see next. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.